Hello there, kia ora. You may recall during the election campaign there was at least one political party that used the slogan, let's get New Zealand back on track. Well, this week we got to see exactly how on track this country is going under this particular political party. It's going to be as on track as this new tram system that Auckland's going to be getting. The one that comes without tracks. You see, this government is, well, kind of ridiculous. There's a whole bunch of things that keep popping up that seem stupid, like this, you know, telling criminals that crime's going to be made a criminal offence, essentially. They're putting them on notice that in November it's going to be tough, like criminals are going to be sitting there going through the Twitter feed of the National Party going, you know what, I'm not going to do crime anymore. Like I said, ridiculous. Or the budget blowout on the cancelled IREX ferry service, because... You know, everybody always knew that was going to be something that came back to bite the government in the ass, and that's essentially what's going to happen. Now they have to replace the ferries anyway, and it's going to probably end up costing them a little bit more than what they would have paid if they just kept onto the contract that they'd already agreed to. See, ridiculous, and totally not on track. But the two big things that we saw come out this week that actually indicated how off track we are, well... They're all about numbers and statistics. You see, we saw a report come out this week that showed that 4,500 more people had signed up to the Job Seeker Work Ready benefit since May this year. Part of that driver is sort of funneling down and, and shrinking the public service, but there's other knock on effects and other issues within the economy at the same time because the Reserve Bank is trying to engineer a recession. And they've admitted that that's what they're doing. They've been working on it for quite some time. And for a recession to be effective to do things like bring down inflation, that means we have to sacrifice a whole bunch of people to the almighty God of whatever the economy actually is. So yeah, four and a half thousand more people since May on job seeker benefit. But don't forget, this government has also announced that it wants to do everything it can to reduce the number of people on benefits, not by creating jobs and helping rebuild the economy. For that, you would need a competent finance minister. Instead, that means we're going to be looking at more punitive actions for people on job seeker benefits or more ways of trying to fiddle them away somewhere else so it doesn't count as their overall uh, job seeker benefit statistics. So that's a really good sign, I guess. For anybody who's supposed to be on a benefit, and that number is also supposed to increase significantly before the end of the year. Ooh. The other statistic that we saw that came out that showed just how on track the economy is, or the country as a whole, was the number of people that are leaving. Now this is a preliminary result, it's going to take about 16 months to get the finalised results. But it showed that last month and the month before saw a net loss in migration for the first time since, well, there was one in 2022 when COVID restrictions lifted. And then the one before that was 2013 when John Key was in charge and he created almost exactly the same conditions we're seeing right now that drove people overseas. Yet we lost more people to migration overseas than we gained. And that's a bad thing. Negative growth in the country due to migration is a bad thing. But that's just where we're at at the moment. Because we have an economy that's falling to pieces. Because we have a country being run by somebody who doesn't know how to do the finances. It's just one great big cyclical issue. So yeah, when you keep being told that the country's getting back on track, just remember... There's lots more people who are going to be unemployed and going to be punished for being unemployed. More people leaving the country than are coming into the country. And the government is still doing really stupid things like instead of dealing with the cost of living crisis or fixing the economy, they're out there telling criminals that crime is going to be a bad thing for them to do and they should reconsider their lifestyle choices. Yeah, I'm sure things are really getting back on track.